Well, let's talk about something with Mr. Raspigator Johnson today. Yeah. What if I could do one of these videos probably once a day for a year? Why not? Picture in picture with Bob Seeger on it. Who doesn't like to see it strut? Now, let me tell you something about frustrating or seeing. I got this science project. I call it science project. I'm going to introduce it to you. But one of my budget eBay buys right here. A Bizgard truck. 120 or uh, 112 skies. Monster truck. Uh, we end up paying $47.99 and um, a little bit on the back end on the shipping. Not, no free shipping here. So somebody got this toy. He played with it. Here, let me go ahead and show you. Oh, yeah, she's dirty. Oh, yeah, we went running. So now, this ain't the shit I came up with it. I'm going to say it again. New Bright, thank you for making the cheap stuff. I love it. Look at this. Look. I found this on eBay, too. I didn't know it was the whole damn car. And I didn't know this was Fast and the Furious New Bright. Yo, Dom, you didn't wreck this one. I got it. I'm wrecking it. You know, ain't no Paul Walker driving another one. Uh, rest old Paul Walker. Yeah. I guess he probably should be driving that Porsche instead of being a passenger seat. Uh, we're we're going to let that go. Hollywood. Anyway, back to the truck. Uh, see it? Oh, yeah, it's dirty. What? Did I see that? Oh, now I'm glad to clean this up. But, yeah, I love a dirty truck. Who don't like a dirty truck? Get, get, get. That's three get, get. It's on how dirty it is. But there ain't nothing. Motor. Uh, they did tell me that this is a five-wire servo and it's waterproof. Yeah, you know, I told you the last one, waterproof is submergible. Yeah. But yeah, that's it. Got it. Now, I got it. Cleaned it up. Man, there was hardly any lube in this thing. The shocks were just like, well, let's just not even go in shocks. Tire's still good. So we got a little video. It's going to be down there. And it's a science project. This is just my little thing. Science project. Now, I put a little for sale sign back on the back to make it cute. Yeah. Well, you can say cute in RC world, because they all do cute. Anyway, let's talk about frustrating RC now. Let's say you get into a predicament, and you start to lose it. You know, you get frustrated. You know, this ain't supposed to be frustrating. This is fun. Frustrating is negativity, and we don't want none of that. Look at it as a challenge. Now, you built this rig. You built it. You spent all this time... We ain't even talking about the staring time. You know how you just sit there and stare at it? Nah, we ain't gonna talk about that. I do it all the time. I'm doing it right now. I'm talking to you and I'm staring at that ass in. It has a little for sale sign on it. I just, man, I love it. It's cute. No, frustrating RC. As soon as you get frustrated, just stop. Just take a break. Calm yourself down. Breathe in. Get a little fresh air in. You don't want to be that terrible two-year-old in Kmart. Flying around like a turtle upside down because you ain't getting that hot wheel for 97 cents. No, well, is there any key more? Not for I tell you what. Let's, let's get down there, down there. But you know what I'm saying. Frustration. Frustration is negativity. No, it's a challenge. It's a course. You built this rig. You built this rig to do this. Now, just take a breath. Get back in the game. Pause off. Pat yourself on your own butt. And get right back into it. See, I watch that frustration goes away. Now, see, you're building character, you're learning, you're calming down, and you're taking a chance to get back into the enjoyment and the fun and the positivity of what RC gives you. Hell, I'm down there close to 50. This is the most fun I had in my life. First toys I ever had. Got into it about a year ago. Now I got toys. Now I got about six of them. I probably got six of them. Well, I'm in here running. But it's not good to that. That's why I got the whole swap meet going on. I told you how, well, at least we all know how tall the grass is going to get, right? <laughs> anyway, frustrating or seeing. Now, we're getting rid of it. It's more of a challenge. Look at that truck. Look at the shocks you put on it. Look at the gear. Look at the way the servo you got in there. Look at everything. Now, take the frustrating out of it. Because it wasn't frustrating when you built it. It wasn't frustrating when you were fantasizing about it. No. It ain't going to be frustrating now. It's a challenge. Get through it. Man up. Put your big boy pants on. Take a breath. And get right back to it. Come on now. You have more fun. So back to Science Project. It's one of my eBay finds. Uh, I had to clean it up. 
It looked like somebody enjoyed it quite well. I'm, I'm glad somebody really did put the paint on this one. And uh, budgeting RC. No, I don't like these truck lids I see. No, I see a lot of these truck lids out there. Whatever you got, whatever you got. But I'm liking the new bright. Why? Because it's everywhere. Because you know why? You go to Walmart, spend $50 on that big old new bright truck. You think it's going to do something. And it gets stuck on the first rock. The first rock. And it's... Uh -uh. So they play with it. But look, look at this. It just found me. I put some stickers on it. Look at that. Duct tape in here. Look. Keeps it from cracking. Any other way. It's all good. Like it. Uh, you know, I didn't know he was going to get the whole car with that. That was a good thing, man. Hey, whoever sold that on eBay to me, yep, it's going a long way. We covered frustrating RC. I ain't not frustrated. I'll tell you what. You want to put frustration with RC, once you start ordering parts and look where they come from. That frustrates me. But what can we do? Got to come from somewhere. I'm going to tell you. We keep getting good at this. We might start making this stuff. Shh. Where do you think the 3D printers come from? Oh, well. Frustrating RC is covered. My little science project. Now, I went out there yesterday and played with it. <sighs> Got it all dirty. Look at all this. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Yep, yep, yep. Go do it again. I don't know when. I'm going to get dirty. On the gig gig scale to this day, I tell you what, we're giving him at least three gig gig gig. Go out there and get it done. When you start getting frustrated, guess what? Stop. Breathe. Frustration and RC should not go together. Told you. You want to get frustrated with RC? How about getting in a bidding war on a really good buy on eBay? And then right now, we think you're going to go in and just say, put the whole $10 on it. Yeah. Now, maybe they put 15. I don't know. I need to work on that. I need to work on a lot of things. But we're going to work on it together. And I tell you what, when it gets frustrating, no, that's a challenge, and we stand up to that challenge. So, once again, let's get that positivity out there. Do something nice for somebody today. I don't know. Buy them a pop. And then make a promise you that you're going to pay it forward for somebody else. And if they don't promise you, take the pop back. What's wrong? Yeah. A lot of these days nowadays, they give you something, they take it right back. Yep. Well, Raspigetta Johnson. But we're going to have 306 more of these things, you know what? Well, let's clean it up. Get it done. Good old boy rules still in effect. Get, get it. I love it. I don't think grass is going to get too tall. Can we please get the swap beat moving? Yeah, it's going to take time. You guys going to have to find me out there in the old internet in that big old pond called the web. But we're here on YouTube. We're going to throw this out every day for a year. One year. One year. eBay buys. Budget RC. Today you get to check out Science Project. Hellfire, I don't know what tomorrow's going to be. But we're going to figure it out. So, no such thing as frustrating RC. No, just a challenge. Stare at that rig a little bit longer. Just sit there, take a breath, and look at it. Man. Maybe you think about getting those, you know, scale nuts to go on the back of your truck. And whatever you do, I see all these street wranglers out here running around with a duck in it. I hate to tell you, if you put a duck in your low scale Jeep Wrangler, I don't think you know what the duck you're doing. Raspberry Johnson say, boy, go out there and get it. Until next time, get out of here.